We're in the land of the midnight sun after seals, grey seals. Here's some background. Grey seal shooting in Norway is licensed and heavily monitored. Only 60 animals can be taken in the season and you need to check before heading out to see if the quota has been reached. Potentially one shooter could take the whole lot. You need to use similar knockdown power as if you were shooting a red deer. Female greys weigh up to 200 kilos and males 300 kilos. Before heading out, Trigger hopes he's bagged some crabs down by the jetty. All we need now is to get some crabs, get those beers out, and have ourselves a really good evening. I've been travelling since 3am and I'm absolutely shattered, so I could do with a good meal. This nice cod. Oh, 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 get my friend. This is a nice young cod. Should be like five, six kilos. And then we catch it. So you, my friend, will come back to you. You're not going to give it a kiss before it goes back? Yeah. Mm. Oh, lovely. Back in my friends. So this one will be for dinner. It's a female, as you can see here on the shield. It's really wide. And this is a pity because some other fisherman, he broke the arms off because at this time of year normally there's not much in the house of it. It's normally only food in the hands of it. And that means some fishermen break them off. It takes a lot of time then for the crab to feed themselves because these are uh, changing these shields maybe three, four times during the summer and they need to fill up, eat and when they're maximum full, they're the best to eat. And there are a few ways you can check that. It's by the backside here, the strength of the shield and the color. And this one is like not full. And sadly, because someone took the clothes, his hands, the strong hands like that one, off. So this one will be the best one for us to eat today, but some of them will be something inside as well. And this one, this one by the way, is the male. You see this, this uh, very, small thin compared to the females we just had with this big that's a female so during the autumn this one will be full of rowan and that's a delicacy but it's too early now so august september is best time for fishing crabs but they're still good to eat what you can see in there that should feed us for this evening i think don't you trigger i think it's uh, fantastic plenty enough for the two of us Maybe we'll have to invite some guests. I think we should. This is not a pest control job. Seals are a resource to be managed and harvested for meat oil and fur. However, they can be a menace around a fish farm. Well, I've just been told there's 800,000 salmon out here just in, just in front of us, which is amazing. And it takes about 14 months from it to become about 100 grams to about five kilos to eat. So that's a, a lot of fish. So it's a, it's a big business here. So when, when they do have the seals come in from the outside, um, scaring the fish and damaging the nets, and this, it creates a big problem. So some of this does need to be controlled. Shooting from a boat or towards a bobbing target takes practice. So Trigger gets Kai to put some rounds through the Zara in preparation. So now we're just going to do the target shooting just to make sure that the rifle is correct zeroed and uh, that we can be able to shoot the seal in the head as we very often do and it's legal to shoot from a boat you can't do that with anything else but the seal so the sea need to be calm the seal to be calm and we to shoot straight so that's why we're going to test the rifle now as always before going stalking anything but the easiest uh, case would be if they're on land because it's low tide now it's a good chance they're on land which makes it possible to shoot shoulder and a bigger target. So let's hope. We're going to be using Trigger's rifle today, which is a Sauer 202 and 308. Um, along that, we're using the Zeiss Diavari, the 3x12x56, a really good setup here. I've used it before and it works really well. Um, the rounds we're going to be using today are the Fusion 165 grain. find them today but uh, this is very important 
part of the seal stalking with binoculars you need to spot them very often in the far distance either laying on the land or they in the sea and then try to find a position but the spotting is uh, they might hours and hours hours spotting and even if you see them they might be gone when you're there <laughs> but at least you know where you're going to to find something they spot seals, but they are mainly the smaller harbour seals which are not in season. Those give birth in May. Their quota for this region is 25 animals. There's a family of seals in front of us, probably about half a dozen. They're all harbour seals. We were looking for a while now. And it's quite difficult to tell the difference sometimes, but obviously the grey seals are a lot bigger. But we're just watching them playing around in front of us. They're quite curious. We're just looking and just looking. But yeah, it's very important that you identify the right one because harbour seals aren't in season and the grey seals are and we don't want to do that mistake. So we've been very, very careful about the selection. The greys are being elusive and with choppy seas, the only option is for Kai to roll the dice and set up on a small island. A possible 600 yard shot on a moving target is not on the cards today and after this tricky moment, they decide that harbour seal meat from the freezer is the safer option. How long are you going to cook it for? Just a few minutes each side, let it rest. Okay, so a few minutes on each side, we're going to let it rest. It's the first time that I've ever tasted seal. I'm really excited to try it. Trick has tasted seal before. And this is why at 107, he is the figure he is now. So here we are, Trigger's seal. He's seasoned with some salt, pepper and lime. And then you see it's nice and medium rare, I would say. Which is, uh, according to Trigger, you would have it any other way. I'm just cutting thin slices for us to help ourselves to, along with some uh, cabbage with a uh, celery uh, seasoning, um, butter, and uh, creme fraiche. And we have some rabbit here with a homemade barbecue sauce. So, again, we are eating very, very well here in Norway. Seal is uh, one of my favorite meats. It's, uh very dark, it's juicy. For more information about Shooter King clothing, go to shooterking.com and for more information about Zara rifles, go to zara.de.